This is CPM Pre-Calculus, Chapter 3, Number 59. What is the inverse function or the inverse of f of x? So the inverse of f of x, if f of x is defined to be x over x plus 1. All right. So here's where we um, start using our new method. And also, it's kind of necessary to use this method. Because um, what do we need to do first, remember, is to swap x's and y's right so we can go ahead and write that as i don't know i think in the math notes it was called switch and solve right so first of all let's switch x's and y's right so we do that remember we're starting with um f of x is equal to x over x plus 1, but we can call that y is equal to x over x plus 1. So we switch x's and y's, we get x is equal to y over y plus 1, right? So now we're just going to solve for y. So that's the switch part, and solve for y given this um, equation right here. So solve for y. And what do we have to do? Um, we want to get First of all, we want to get y out of the denominator here. So to do that, let's go ahead and rewrite this here. And let's multiply both sides by y plus 1. Because that's going to be able to make it cancel out in the denominator. So we do the right side of the equation, we have to do it to the left. What we're left with on the left is just y plus 1 times x. And actually, let's go ahead and distribute x and write it like that. So let's call this x times y plus 1 times x, which is x, equals, and then we have these canceling out here, so that's equal to y. All right. So what do we need to do next? Well, we're solving for y, so let's go ahead and put those on one side of the equation together. So let's subtract y from both sides. And at the same time, let's also subtract x on both sides too. Okay, you can do this in two steps, but if you subtract y here, it cancels out and you get negative x, right? The x and negative x cancel on this side, so you're left with x times y minus y. We can't combine these because one, they're not like terms, right? This one has an x and this one doesn't. But what can we do? We can factor out a y from this expression. When we factor out a y, we're left with x minus 1. Right? We take the y out of here and the y out here, and we're left with x minus 1. And that's equal to negative x. So to get rid of x minus 1, we just divide both sides by x minus 1. And we have then y alone, because these cancel out, is equal to negative x over x minus 1. Right? We could keep it like this, or we can go ahead and get rid of this negative by distributing, sorry, factoring out a negative 1 in the denominator. So negative, when you factor out, makes it a negative x plus 1, right? Because we're factoring in a negative. If you were to distribute it back, you would get back to what we have here. And now that we have two negatives here, those cancel out, and we're left with x over, instead of writing it like this, I'm going to say 1 minus x, okay? So either way, like this or like this, mean the same thing. So finally, I want to say the inverse function now of f. The inverse of f, I'm not even going to say the inverse function anymore because we know it might be a non-function. So the inverse of f of x, of x is equal to x over 1 minus x, right? What we just have there. This box is our answer. You could also have this as the answer. I'm just going to stick with one of them. So that's going to end for us. End for us. CPM um, chapter three, pre calculus number fifty nine.